Let's start with Link Energy's core business, clean energy. How is the business structured to tap into that growing sector? Link is based around uh, two or three core technologies, but basically underground coal gasification as a way of creating a, a clean coal um, conduit. So as we can, we can tap into stranded coal anywhere in the world, so for example, north of England or uh, Europe, Asia, Australia, North America, we can tap into deep stranded coal seams that aren't going to get used in the next two, three, four generations. We can turn that into clean gas. The clean gas can be then turned into clean fuel or power generation, etc. cetera. So um, the, the mainstay of, of Lynx clean generation is, is through underground coal gasification. And then our ownership of several billion tonnes of coal around the world, which becomes a cornerstone of our being able to tap into that. So we, we are an energy company that uses underground coal gasification as a conduit to tap into that energy. And it's proven technology because in fact you've been using it in Queensland for more than a decade. Well, that's correct. I mean, uh, we've been operating for um, over 11 years now in, in uh, Queensland and uh, it's been very successful. We're just rolling out a fifth generation, which is our commercial generation of the technology, which will be rolled out around the world. And it's, a, it's an amazing technology. What we've done with it over the last five years is just phenomenal. We also own Eurostigas, which is one of the original Russian um, technology brands that developed underground coal gasification and that's just celebrating 50 years this year of using underground coal gas to uh, run a commercial power station. So there's 50 years of, of uh, thoroughbred um, potential here that the, that the Western world needs to start to really focus in on. There's a lot, lot there we can do with it. You're on the acquisition trail in the US, uh, particularly around enhanced oil recovery, what are the details? Well, uh, one of the things we can do with UCG, underground coal gasification, is that we can either have a very small CO2 footprint or we can have a larger CO2 footprint. Where we, when we look at some of our coal seams around the world, particularly in, for example, Wyoming, across the Powder River Basin, we have a lot of coal over the top of depleted oil fields. You start to be able to use the gas from UCG to be able to get enhanced oil recovery. So we started to buy up oil fields originally in Wyoming and now Texas and a few other locations. So we're building out quite a large oil arm on the back of that. And staying in the US, Alaska is a new frontier for you too. What's the development there? Well, Alaska is very exciting. On the back of the, our oil uh, front that we're pushing, we've been able to gain a couple of resources. One of those is, those is Umiat, where it's got a billion barrels of oil in place. And that's very exciting. That, that's, that could be worth many billions of dollars in the, in the near future for Link. So it's, a, uh, it's one of the cornerstones of our future in terms of oil going forward. With all your worldwide interests, it's great to see you here in London. What are the company's interests here in the UK? We've just opened a new London office um, and I'm, I'm quite excited about that. That office will run pretty much uh, our European focus. We're taking a number of coal leases uh, at predominantly in Eastern Europe. We may take some in the UK as well. Uh, with the idea of uh, our three focuses, which is underground coal gasification, coal and in oil, and focusing on that. And in Europe, you're looking at a German carbon capture company. That's an interesting technology. What are the prospects there? Well, uh, that, that particular company has, has been doing research where the caverns that are left by the underground coal gasification, because underground coal gasification is a bit like mining underground, where it actually takes the coal and converts it into gas and then leaves a cavity just like an underground coal mine. Well, because of the heat involved, you end up with a charcoal cavern, uh, effectively activated carbon. The, uh, the university we're working with has been able to, to uh, discover that by pumping liquid CO2 down there, you can get up to 400 times more CO2 into that cavity than you normally would. Subsequently, it's, it's a huge opportunity to create a carbon sink in Europe. So that's one of the things we're investigating. Now, Peter, I read on your website that you've driven a diesel car across Australia on your own ultra-clean synthetic diesel fuel created from your own underground coal. That must have been quite a ride. That was fantastic. Uh, one of my goals when I floated Link Energy on the um, ASX was to uh, do the, to drill up the coal, develop UCG, and then turn that gas into clean fuels, clean diesel, and then use that to, to drive the car across Australia. So to, to have proved the point that we indeed have made 
have drilled the coal, have created clean gas and have created clean fuel in quite a large plant. If you look on our website, you'll see it. Uh, and, and prove that by driving 6,000 kilometres across the country. And a car that drove better and faster and more efficiently than if it would have if it was on normal diesel. That was a great achievement. And in fact, I had my two sons in the car with me uh, for half the journey and it was, uh, it was, it was a nice feeling. It was, it was yeah, one of, the, one of the highlights. So the momentum is building behind these technologies. Where do you see Link Energy in, let's say, five years' time? Link is building into a, a, a diversified energy grip where we have uh, oil and growing oil opportunities um, which, will, which have a couple of focuses on uh, drilling and enhanced oil recovery. We, have, we are pushing our coal business and selling more and more coal but predominantly the clean coal business where um, I see that as having a massive medium to long term future particularly in, in clean coal uh, and some of the other investments that we're making in that clean energy group. So I mean in five years time I want to be producing 150,000 barrels a day of uh, 100 to 150,000 barrels a day of clean fuels or, and oil and, uh, and I see Link as being a, a significant contrib contributor to the, to the new energy economy. Peter Bond, thank you very much. Thank you.